when we read out the questions? Yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. These are directed completely to you now, Bella. All right. All right. Here we go. So question one, anonymously. Why did you move to Barcelona? I moved to Barcelona because I speak fluent Italian and I thought that I, no, I lived in Italy for seven years and I speak fluent, I don't have any education, like I didn't go to third level education, so I thought if I get to 30 with two languages under my belt, it's kind of like having a degree. So I finished in Italy and I said I'll go to uh, Spain and learn Spanish, and I didn't. <laughs> Doggy style or reverse cowboy? Doggy style, lads. I'm all about the pretend balls, give it to me. Ireland or Spain? Ireland. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure. Daniel or Ingrid? Daniel. <laughs> Daniel. Oh, I love you, Daniel. <laughs> what, what would you ask, what would you ask a comedian in a Q&A at a comedy gig? Uh, what's your number? <laughs> Why did you downgrade from Balancholic to Barcelona? <laughs> Just got too big, got too famous, you know what I mean? Couldn't, couldn't be around the streets of Balancholic anymore. Uh, how, long does it, how, long does it turn, how long does it take to turn an idea into a joke? Oh, God. Yeah, how long is a piece of rope? So long, so long, yeah. such a long time. So much stage time. Sometimes though, really quickly. Sometimes very really quickly, but the good ones take. I, yeah. I for how I do it on stage. I I'm on, in Barcelona, I'm on stage every single night. Not like this long, but every single night I'm on stage yeah. every night. Do the same stuff. Well, and that's the thing as well. When you are doing comedy, you do the same like you do the same stuff so much over and over and over, and then you get to, you get to a point. You hate it. And then you fucking hate it. Because you got to get laughs per minute. Yeah. That's how it works. Oh, you got to get a certain amount of laughs per minute to get your minutes. Get more minutes. Yeah. So you start at 5, you go to 7, you go to 10, you go to 12, 15. That's why when someone interrupts and talks too much, you're like, I'm on the fucking clock, bro. <laughs> you know? What was the hardest part of becoming sober? Um, losing, the loneliness, being isolated. Yeah. Tell us about that tapas moment in Barcelona. <laughs> Do you want me to tell you? I feel like I should make something up for you, man. I don't even know, that's so funny. What's your favourite tapas? I, can, I got that. I got that from. <laughs> I love tapas. It's the only that tea. You get to taste everything. Yeah, yeah. You should try a buffet. You'd lose your fucking mind. <laughs> My favourite tattoo is, I'm not going to show you because I'm is a, a lady here that's really beautiful, she's a gypsy lady with a snake and a knife and because it's hidden the colour is really bright. And I have LSD here which is pretty cool. <laughs> uh, you can see that. LSD where? There. My fuck, yeah. that is sore. And when you're high in LSD and you show someone else that, they're like, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> it's been a source of great, uh, great crack. Was that painful? No, not at all. I was actually tight but it didn't feel like what I was saying. Uh, Kyla, did you get the ride? Yes, doggy style. No, no, we didn't. We didn't. I didn't even fucking tell him what you mean. I didn't tell him I I don't think I even fucking do. It was before I got the ride, so I think I was just gagging. Hunger is the best flavor. <laughs> I was clucking. It's, now, so whoever wrote this is very intelligent because their writing is almost indistinguishable. <laughs> Why did you finish with writing? He sounds terrible. I didn't. I was never with him. Oh, sorry. Why are you frank? You're very intelligent. Yeah. Oh, he does. Do you know why? You know when you do you know when you see the potential in a fella and you're like, I'm gonna waste my time here. Oh my God. No, I know. No, lads. I know. I'm not saying I did the right thing, but and he's. Do you know what? He's been very good to me in the sobriety. He's been very, very good to me in the sobriety. So. He knows well. Yeah, yeah. We both we we spoke about it that there's a thing there, but we're we were we've been friends for so long and. I genuinely don't think that he would be the kind of person that I would like make a family with. So I'm like, what's the point in sleeping with him and making it weird when and then because he said that you just want to fuck him more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm like, uh oh, we can't right. <laughs> it's forbidden. Yeah, yeah. But he saw the set. He saw the joke and I think for me doing the set was therapy because it just I like released it. It was like now it was just funny and now he's like, Oh my god, I'm like, fuck off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's it's not really funny. It is. 
How did you know? Who told you? <laughs> What's your favorite Sinead O'Connor song? Nothing compared to you. Yeah, yeah. yeah for sure. I know that Prince wrote it, but you know what I mean. So, I, I can't read your last one. So, you might just throw the P. Oh, is that the DMDMA just going to Prince Yeah, you just dust it in. Technical question, yeah. You dust it in. I don't do that anymore, but. Very fun. I can yeah, totally do it. Yeah. Very fun. Oh, Molly or something. Molly, yeah, yeah. So fun. So fun. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, in your drinks this evening, I guess. <laughs> Daniel's leg has been twitching the whole time. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> Daniel. Look at everything. How are you? It was a great show. What made you want to do stand up? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I did it and then I just kept doing it. I don't even fucking know. I don't know why I fucking do it sometimes. Honestly, I love it. I love. I love when everyone's wanting to be at the show and when you're all laughing together. I think you're really present. I love that moment when people are like. You know, and I want to get you, and you're like, I want to make it laugh. And you're like, oh, no, yeah, you did it, you know. It's really sensational. And when it goes well, and people are up for the crack and they're not cranky, it's really, really, really cool sensation. I can't, there's nothing else like it. Yeah. Do you enjoy it more sober? Yes. Oh, my God. That's a great question. A hundred percent. Oh, my God. And then the first, the first one I did sober was terrible. I like I never. It's like the right everything sober again. Thank you. Honestly, you you're like oh my god, I use alcohol for everything. Whatever. Uh, oh, I love it. I yeah, yeah, I love it sober, and I'm quicker. And we in Ireland are really good crack, but people aren't in Barcelona. They're like oh, incredible. And I'm like go to any Irish pub, and you will be mind blown. Um, in school, were you a class clown? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was definitely a messer. I just get in trouble all the time. I fucking hated school. It was the worst years of my life. I was a bit bleak, but I absolutely hate it. Because they just pick Collie stupid, don't they? They just... And now I'm like, told you. <laughs> Ingrid, uh, so, some people have wrote the same questions, or a variety, like, Ingrid, you have the same question there, and I like, um, one question again. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. No, I guess if, if he listens to this podcast, his head will be fucking exploding. Jesus <laughs> Christ. He's not funny. <laughs> I bring the funny. <laughs> Someone might have to help me out with this. Are you planning to settle in? Oh yeah, are you planning to settle in Barcelona? If not, where next? I'm not planning on settling. No, I don't. I just go wherever. When I'm not happy, I move. So as long as I'm happy, I go back and forth. About my my plan would be to be based in Barcelona and then come over here and do shows. That's what I. That's the dream. That's what I'm affirming at the moment. Is to be able to go because in Barcelona I can go on stage every night. And there's a part two to this question. Do you mm -hmm. think Ireland is too obsessed with the idea of settling? Um, I don't think, I think that it's our culture to settle, I think that that's normal, not to, not to settle as in for less, but do you mean settling like into a, into a marriage? I think, I think, I, I can't speak for the person who wrote that question now, so, uh, but I Will think, you repeat the question? I can, yeah, no bother. Um, do you think Ireland is too obsessed with the idea of settling and settling in inverted commas? So, I, I, how I'm reading from that is like settling as in like, you know, settling down. I think that, yeah, I mean, I think everywhere kind of is. I mean, we're built into every every kind of Western world society is built into the idea of nine to five and having a house and having security. And it's hard to go out of that, you know. And some people are super happy doing that. Like, so my sister has a really, like, she's got a great job, her husband has a great job, they've built a house, they've got cats and dogs, and, like, she's fucking, it's, I wouldn't, but, like, she's delighted, and I'm, like, fucking... One man's taste is one man's taste. Totally, place. you know yeah. what I mean? Totally, totally. Yeah. If it works for you, go nuts. Yeah, yeah. Maybe like, like mm. I have a friend, I think, he's a farmer, and like to me, I absolutely hate that. Do you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, totally. He gets up with a fucking horn every day. <laughs> he does, like, he fucking loves it. Yeah. The cows and the whole lot, and I'd be like, you're a fucking tat. But, uh, you know, um, to Kyla, tell us how the hell you had the balls to confront the guy on the bike. Yeah, oh my god, the guy in the bike. I was walking home one night and this guy followed me and he was kind of following me, asking me stuff and I was like, leave me be, I was a little bit drunk. And then I turned and I live in like an alley and he turned up and tried to like stop me and all. And then I, he was following me back to my house and then I just stopped and I was like, I started filming and I was like, do you like it when I follow you? Do you like it like this? Um, I don't get, a fr I think that we, are told, especially our generation of women, it's like, shh, you know, be quiet. You know, when you see little girls and like, shh, be quiet, be quiet. But if you bark back, a lot of the time, they won't do anything. So I, because I've lived in cities all the time, I don't really have that fear of confronting someone. And lads, if he's going to attack me or do anything, I'm not going down without a fight. 
Like that is absolutely no fucking way. I'd rather scream, shout and roar because you're only called crazy anyway. So like, might as well fucking... And I feel like this is terrible, but I look at so many Spanish men and I'm like, I'd take him. <laughs> like, so many men, I'm like, I'd take him, I'd take him. Uh, this is the last question. And mm -hmm. um, it is, what are your top five tips for your 20s or any number? Oh, don't worry. Don't worry, like it'll all just come, you know. I think I spent so much in my years in my twenties just being so worried because I wasn't where I thought I needed to be, or I wasn't like I was always trying to give up weed and always kind of seeing alcoholism. And I just want to go back and hug myself and just be like, enjoy it, enjoy the ride. Nothing is guaranteed. Tomorrow might not come, you know. Just enjoy it. I think that's like, that's, that's five all wrapped up into one. Like, yeah, 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 um, so yeah, check it out wherever you get your podcasts. Uh, I want to say thank you to Dave, our producer tonight. Yeah. Uh, I want to say thank you to Dan, who did all the filming at the back there. And I want to say a massive thank you to my guest, Kyla Cobbler, for coming on. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving.